In today's video, I'm going to be talking about newborn baby essentials. These are products that I feel you need to get in preparation to welcoming your newborn. And in case you're watching this because you're expecting a baby, congratulations and I wish you all the best. My name is Marcy and my content is about homemaking and lifestyle. So in case that's something that uh, you'd like, uh, you're interested in, please subscribe. And now let's get into the video. So what I've done, I have uh, written them down here because I don't want to forget anything. And I feel this is like the bare minimum. These are the absolute products that you must get. Uh, and then from here, you, you can actually take it from here to add every other thing that you feel you're gonna need uh, for your journey as a mom or a newborn. So uh, I've classified them. Mm, we have baby clothing, we have uh, the products that you're gonna need for the bath time, uh, for your nursery, when you're traveling, we have some extras that actually don't fit into any of those um, categories and as a bonus I also have uh, mommy essentials so please stick with me and let's start. Now for baby clothing. I feel these are the clothes that you need to buy. Number one, you need to get onesies. Onesies are the ones, they are like baby vests, for lack of a better word. But they, they are the ones that go all the way. Uh, they help to like put, make sure the diaper is in place. So those are onesies. I feel you need rompers, trousers, you need shirts. You need kofias and when it comes to kofias, do not over invest in kofias. They do not use them for long. Like my baby, uh, by the time it was two weeks, he wasn't doing kofias. Um, so don't over invest in kofias and especially uh, if your baby is born like around this time that is really, really hot, just get a few. You also need to get mittens for that newborn phase, but also do not over invest, don't buy a lot of them. Uh, you're gonna need socks. Socks are important to keep their little legs warm. They get cooled really fast. I don't understand. Uh, you also need sweaters. Um, you're gonna need a receiving set and I feel for this one it's, it's the best purchase. Uh, because it's, it's inclusive of everything that you need when you're going to the hospital. So once you have a receiving set, you actually are good to go to the hospital because it comes with a trouser, shirts. Um, I think the only thing that it doesn't come with is a, an onesie. It has a sweater, it has socks, it has mittens, it has a receiving towel. So you can get uh, maybe two receiving sets or just one is just enough. Um, for a baby girl, you might need head wraps, you know, to make sure they're looking all cute. Uh, you you must also want to buy like a dress for your baby girl, you know. Um, and then the other thing that you need are bandana bibs. As I said in my previous videos, I feel these are better in comparison to... Um, to Oof, these are the thing. What is it called? I keep forgetting the name. Uh, cause they're they're better because they're they're smaller. They're more abs absorbent. And you know, for the newborn, you only need that to uh, you know prevent, not really prevent, but to collect the spit ups in case it happens, so that it doesn't get to the baby's clothes. So uh, make sure you have bandana bibs on your list. Uh, the next thing that you need, an absolute uh, requirement, is um, a bath cloth. But uh, you can also get liners to act as bath cloth. Liners are like these products. I personally didn't get bath cloths, but I got this. So whenever I want my baby to bath after feeding, or maybe my husband is holding him, we just place this right here. And when you're bathing him, uh, in case I spit up, in case he spits up, it's not going to get to our clothes. So I feel a liner or a bath cloth is also important. Of course, you need the light shoes, like this one right here. My baby is sleeping <laughs> right here. So we have um, light shoes. Um, you may also get one or two heavy shoes. You also need uh, flannel. Flannel is um, it, it's, it's nice, but don't over invest in them. Maybe just like one set of 
uh, they, do they come in fours or in six maybe just one set one set is enough don't over invest because again um you don't need so many products honestly you do not need so many products so those are for the essentials for baby clothing now let's go to bath time so for bath time of course you're going to need baby basin or a bathing station uh whichever works for you you're gonna need towels for the baby uh, or a towel for the baby <laughs> personally I, I got only one i feel one is enough but of course go ahead and buy as many as you want <laughs> you're gonna need washcloths uh these are um like to face towels for the baby uh but also at the same time the liners can also be used as washcloth you're gonna need uh, a baby soap or a shampoo or um shower gel that works for your baby um you're gonna need a moisturizing cream for us we are using um epimax and for this product let me tell you like um the moisturizing cream uh, or mafuta uh the first time you know baby, baby skin is quite sensitive and at times you might buy a product that will react to the baby skin so my advice would be just get them in small quantities so that in case it doesn't work um you know you can always change uh but like for us we when it comes to um mafuta we first we had bought uh roshia butter i thought you know shea butter is good but it was reacting with my baby so bad um so i had to stop there's a, another massage oil that i bought i had bought him and then it was still reacting with the skin so i realized i think his skin is quite sensitive right now the only mafuta that is working or the only cream that is working is the epimax so when you're going to buy some of these uh, products buy small sets so that in case it but it, it doesn't work um you know you can always change uh bila hasara kubwa another thing uh diapers and for the diapers as well make sure for starters hmm, buy small packs so that you can see you can find out whether it's going to react to the baby or it's okay. you're gonna need wet wipes um and a diaper cream yeah uh I feel those are the ones that you need for you know the bath time but of course diapers wet wipes and leper cream you're going to be using throughout the day now let's get to baby nursery uh, for the nursery um personally i don't have a nursery <laughs> we are still sleeping with my baby which is perfectly fine you you are you're free to free well do whatever you want to do with your baby as long as it's safe and as long as you feel that's what your baby needs so but in case you have an accessory um you're gonna need the baby coat coat bappers a chest of drawers right you're gonna need a coat net uh to prevent you know from mosquitoes and stuff uh if you're not you do not have all those and you are sleeping with your baby you may consider buying a baby co sleeper uh and baby nest to use uh during the day so for us we have baby nest that we use during the day now for the travel uh maybe you're stepping out to go somewhere or maybe you're going for the clinics uh in preparation with that you may want to buy um a baby carrier or baby wraps personally i have baby wraps i have a baby wrap because i feel it's more comfortable when i'm carrying my baby with it as opposed to baby carriers but you may buy whatever works for you uh, and of course an absolute must have is a diaper bag uh, so that you place all your essential the diapers the uh, diaper creams wet wipes a change of outfit you know all those things that you need when you're stepping out um in case you have a car you may want to invest in a car seat uh, so yeah i feel those are some of the things that you need um for the travel now let's come to the extras extras i felt you know they don't uh, quite really fit in any of that category number one is a macintosh um it's good to have one uh 
uh, especially when you're changing so that uh, maybe you're changing the your baby in the sitting room on the couch and accidents happen every time so you want to have uh, like a Macintosh to make sure if the baby susus or he poops it's not going to get to your to your couch um i feel you're gonna need a laundry basket uh, and also buckets for the baby because the baby as i said they're very sensitive you're not going to be washing your clothes with your clothes uh so you need like maybe a bucket to be cleaning their clothes and also when they're they when when you're changing you don't want to put your clothes in the same basket with the baby's clothes so you can put it in a bucket a special baby's bucket or maybe a basket whichever you want um you may want to buy a nursing pillow i've talked about a nursing pillow in my previous video and how it has just made my breastfeeding journey a lot easier uh although i feel this is like more of a mommy essential but please do get a nursing pillow it's really important and especially if you are a cs mom it's going to uh, help you a lot i feel you also need to get a breast pump and uh, storage bags and this is not just for working moms i feel even stay at home moms like me you need to get it I got it and it really helped me especially when I have over over supply I just pump that milk and store for um, the bad days when <laughs> my milk might be low or I just want to step out and go somewhere without the baby I am sure that I have I can pump milk or or I already have milk stored for my baby and it's just so much easier for me to step out because it's not like I'm going with this food you know there's milk stored for him or if I need to step out I can just pump and make sure he's got milk and uh, whoever I'm leaving my baby with um, is going to feed them so i feel it's it's important it's important to have a breast pump and also did you know uh if you have a lot of milk and your breasts are engorged it's so painful you guys it can even lead to mastitis so you don't need you don't want your breast to be so full with milk and it's it's painful by the way so just get a breast pump even the amano one it goes for about a thousand shillings so I feel that's a worthy investment. Uh, you also need uh, sterilizing tablets. Um, or yeah, tab personally, I use Milton. So whenever I clean uh, the pump or his bottles, I make sure I sterilize them so that they are safe to use for his next feed. Because the last thing you want is your baby to get an infection because of using things that are not sterile you know yeah so let's get to the mommy essentials these are products that i feel as a mom you need them number one is nursing pillow <laughs> i've already talked about that you also need as a mom um you can either get maternity pants pants and i feel these are so nice i especially if you deliver through a uh, vaginal way uh they are they are so comfortable they're so comfortable but if you're a cs mom it may not be as comfortable because what i realized in my case they roll back and lie on your on your wound and it's painful <laughs> uh yeah because your stomach is still big so they um they can't stay on top of your stomach they're going to roll back and lay on your bikini line which is where you get your cut so it's a quite painful uh, but for someone who has gone through normal i feel you can use the maternity pants they are really really comfortable um you can also get the pads um and if you're using the pads i feel it's good to get the disposable panties uh so that you don't have deal with the stress of like washing your soiled uh, panties you know when well, once you're done you just fold and everything you just dispose <laughs> feel it's much easier that way yeah? you're also gonna need nipple cream don't wait for your nipples to crack to get this please get it and get it in your hospital bag it saved me so much um 
because breastfeeding the first few days is painful and your nipples are going to hurt so just get a, a, a nipple cream and apply after every feed the other thing you're gonna need nursing bra nursing bras are like these ones that i've worn it's so comfortable when you need to nurse you just open um and close it's so it's so comfortable they are so comfortable by the way you also need breast breast pads okay so nursing nursing pillow do come with their own pads it's quite thick but if you're stepping out you need that additional protection to make sure you know your milk doesn't leak everywhere and everyone knows you have a newborn so especially if you're going back to work make sure you get um the breast pads uh, you can even get the uh, washable ones personally i have the washable ones um and it's really convenient when i'm stepping out i just put inside and yeah off i go so those are the things that i feel they are like the bare minimums they're the things that you absolutely need to have and then you can pick it up from there and get yourself the other products that you feel are going to be essential for your for the trimester <laughs> or for your newborn face thank you so much for watching guys uh please give me a thumbs up it's absolutely free and if you've reached this point please subscribe <laughs> it doesn't hurt please subscribe thank you for watching and i'll be seeing you in my next video bye